Hi everyone, merhaba, welcome back to my channel. This is Ayşenur Altan. We are going to make easy Turkish cheese börek on stove top in a pan. In the previous episode I shared how you can make yufka sheets, filo sheets easily at home. Check the links here or here. It is also possible to make it with the frozen rectangular filo sheets with the same idea. So let's begin. I have two kinds of cheeses. Usually we use only Turkish white cheese. Feta cheese you can use, it is similar to that, has like some panji taste and a little bit kaşar. It's similar to mozzarella. To give some ooziness, it is optional. And some chopped parsley. I'm just going to crumble the feta and mix everything. The pan size is it doesn't say here is about 20-22 cm medium size pan non-stick and uh, since our yufka sheets all are also small it will be better to uh, place them here and uh, we need a sauce to dampen and uh, flavor our börek for that I'm gonna use egg some milk and vegetable oil one egg, third of a cup milk, and same amount vegetable oil. I'm gonna use mix of uh, sunflower and olive oil. Just going to whisk. Uh, the cheese are already salty, but you can add a pinch of salt to the sauce too. Next. We gonna assemble everything and just cook. And normally when we use bigger yufka sheets, one sheet would be enough to place it here and then we will have enough to cover them all. Since our yufkas are smaller, I'm gonna place it, couple of them hanging on the sides. Before that, let me quickly scale how much I'm gonna use. It is all close to 300 grams. Okay, here we begin. We will fill halfway and then uh, place the filling. Use the rest and close it. Just soak a little bit from the sauce and then place the two. I'm gonna uh, dip to soak as much as I can. Place it like this wrinkling. And the next one. And here is the third one. If you use bigger, just tear it apart or use one and then wrinkle it like this. It will create some air pockets here and places for the cheese filling. Next the cheese. I can use one more close my filling. And it's ready. And you can put the leftover sauce inside, not here because uh, we're gonna cook, it can stick. And that's it. Okay, our break is ready to cook. Let's go to the stove top. 
It's been about uh, five minutes. I have been cooking it. Let's turn it. No, it's not gonna work. It should fit. So I'm gonna use another one. I oiled my uh, plate. Place it here. And turn it over. And going to cook the other side. Okay, my burek looks very appealing, crunchy. Let's turn it over and take a look. Look at this, very crunchy and inside it cooks well with the steam. Look at this crunchy sound. Smells delicious, inside is uh, cooked, soft, crunchy outside. It is still hot. You can make roll berek with the yufkas as well. Either roll or make like a gözleme. Just place from the filling you want. In this case, this is white cheese with chopped parsley. And then fold it to make rectangular or square whichever you like drizzle some olive oil and heat the pan and cook and for the second one I tried using ground beef and onion sauteed along with some shredded kashar mozzarella cheese and again seal it with the help of some water and it's done And don't forget to like, share my videos, leave your comments to support and see you next time.